welcome to chemistry lover and this is the seventh video of the hundred important topics in organic chemistry and in this video i'm going to talk about a reagent which is n b s or n bromo succinamide okay so this is the reagent which i'm going to talk about today the reagent as the name suggests it is the n bromo succinamide this is the structure okay so this is the amide of succinic acid and uh, also a bromine substituent is there now uh, the topic is not conceptually very difficult it is rather easy topic but what i am going to discuss today is the dual nature of this particular reagent what is the dual nature so let's say you have an alkene like this now with this reagent in bromosuccinamide you can do two things either you can add the bromine across the double bond like this to get a dibromo product or you can do a uh, substitution reaction so this is addition reaction and you can also do the substitution reaction at this allylic position so nbs can do two things so one is addition to a cc double bond and another thing is the allylic substitution or allylic bromination now uh, in both cases the main reagent is nbs but what varies is the reaction condition and the solvent uh, depending on the reaction condition and the solvent you can get either of these two outcome uh, either the bromine can add across the double bond or it can do a substitution reaction at the allylic position for example uh, let's say you have a molecule this is the styrene molecule and if you react it with nbs in presence of dmso and water what you will get you will get addition across the double bond and in this case actually there is no allylic position so this would be the outcome there is no surprise but more interesting example is this one where if you add nbs and let's say you add any ether uh, any alcohol ROH this is a general form of alcohol so you are going to get a product like this okay but now if you add NBS in CCL4 solvent and if you add some radical initiator like AIBN and you if you do the reaction in dark or if you do the reaction in presence of light then you don't need any radical initiator you just apply some uh, suitable light and you will get the substitution reaction at this allylic position so this is the allylic position and here you will get the substitution reaction so depending on the reaction condition and the solvent you will get two different outcome from the same starting material so this is the importance of this nbs so what happens in this case is nbs as the structure so this is the structure of nbs and in any solvent it doesn't matter what is the solvent if you can generate some hbr in the reaction mixture that hbr will react with this nbs so what will happen so first you will have a protonation over here through this HBr like this and now uh, this nitrogen can be delocalized over here so this is why the protonation occurs so this is a kind of protonation okay and now so fr this proton comes from this hbr so you will also have br minus so that br minus will now attack on this bromine and it will be neutralized so here you will get this thing 
okay you will get this thing and along with that you will get bromine so this bromine molecular bromine is generated in this reaction now when you add uh, more bro uh, nbs that is qualitative amount of uh, nbs i mean large amount of nbs and in polar solvents like water or roh like alcohol you will generate a lot of br2 and that will do simple electrophilic addition to this double bond but when you use tiny amount of nbs and you do the reaction in presence of ccl like so ccl4 like solvent in uh, with with the Mm, radical initiator or uh, with sunlight or any kind of light source then this bromine will react in a radical reaction so in this case the allylic bromination will occur so basically so so the case of electrophilic addition is very simple but in case of allylic bromination reaction how the reaction occurs so this is your substrate now in the first step some radical initiator will generate a r dot that will take proton from here and you will have this radical over here now this radical is stabilized through resonance like this okay so this is the first step now whatever br uh, bromine is generated this radical can take a bromine from here and it will generate this br dot so from here you will get the substitution and along with that you get br dot now this br dot whatever you are deriving from here that will act as radical initiator and it will attack on another molecule of the starting material to generate the radical at the same time it will generate the hbr the same hbr is now used here along with this nbs to generate this br2 this is how the reaction chain goes on and you will get the radical reaction so the outcome of this video or the summary of this video is that if you do the nbs addition in presence of polar solvent polar protic solvent like roh or h2o you will do electrophilic addition and if you do the same reaction with nbs but now in solvent like ccl4 and in lightning condition or with the presence of some radical initiator like aibn then you will do allylic bromination now let us uh, talk about the reaction this one how the reaction occurred so uh, in this case in presence of nbs br2 will be generated and first it will uh, create some okay so according to my uh, initial drawing it should be above the plane like this so it will generate some bromonium ion like this so this br2 comes from uh, AI, uh, nbs now you had this roh right so this roh now open this uh, bromonium ion so from here you will get this as your product so this is how the reaction occurs okay so i hope that uh, you understood the dual use of nbs uh, varying the reaction condition and the solvent if you have any query regarding this uh, let me know in the comment section and if you want to uh, want to know about allylic bromination in detail i have a dedicated video on that i will put the link of that video in the description section check it out thank you for watching